Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the weekly Outside Views report on German politics. Actually, the victims of the uprising of June 17th were supposed to be commemorated, but instead, an AfD right wing politician equated climate activists with the Hitler Youth. So, there, on the occasion of the 70th anniversary of the popular uprising of June 17th, 1953, in the GDR, commemorations were held nationwide, and the AfD also organized rallies. But Stefan Brandner, member of the Bundestag, our parliament and deputy spokesman for the AfD, used the opportunity to equate young climate activists with the Hitler Youth or the FDJ, which was the part in the GDR. Today's youth would no longer run around with brown or red flags, but with rainbow flags, he said. The rainbow flag is, of course, the symbol of the LGBTQIA community. And the Jewish Forum for Democracy and Against Antisemitism shared a video of the scene on Twitter. The Hitler Youth was the youth and junior organization of the National Socialist German Workers' Party. After the National Socialists took power in 1933, membership was compulsory. The HJ, which appeared in uniform and was militarily organized, was divided according to age and gender. And the aim was not only to convey national socialist values, but also to recruit new soldiers. And the Free German Youth, the FDJ, was a state-recognized and subsidized youth organization in the GDR. As a mass organization, it was part of an educational system parallel to the school. In the course of this, the next generation for the SED and the bloc parties, so the fighting reserve of the party, should be used. In the past, Stefan Brandner has repeatedly come into focus through anti-Semitic statements. He insulted the rock singer Udo Lindenberg, who was critical of the AfD, as a Judas. And due to his numerous scandals, he had lost his post as chairman of the Bundestag's Legal Affairs Committee. The Thuringian AfD head of uh, the party leader Björn Höcke also took part in the rally in Gera. And in his speech, he questioned the rule of law in the Federal Republic. On Saturday, he referred, among other things, to the corona policy of the past few years. And that's why you have to realize that the Federal Republic of Germany is no longer a fully developed constitutional state, but a state of mind. That's what Höcke said in front of up to 250 people, according to the police. Democracy, the rule of law and freedom are more threatened than ever before in the existence of the Federal Republic of Germany, he said. We have to be on guard, we have to be vigilant. That's also the message of the heroes of 1953, said Höcke, whose AfD Regional Association is classified as right-wing extremist by the State Office for the Protection of the Constitution. According to the police, up to 80 people protested against the AfD rally and Höcke's appearance in Gera on the anniversary. And Thuringia's interior minister, Georg Meyer from the Social Democrats, had previously accused the AfD of using the commemoration day of the popular uprising in the GDR for their own purposes. During the popular uprising 70 years ago, people rebelled against an author authoritarian regime. And now the AfD of all people wants to hijack this day for themselves even though their ideology is based on an authoritarian understanding of the state. This is not only a contradiction in terms, but also a perfidious strategy, said Meyer. And you must imagine that those two people are extreme right-wingers. Brandner is absolutely... You ca I can't stand him when he talks in the Bundestag because of what he says. And it's not about freedom of speech. Some things are really not tolerable. And Björn Höcke, courts ruled that everybody is absolutely allowed to call him a fascist. Because when you listen to him, you know that he's not on the side of the people of 1953 in the GDR. He's on the side of the people that gained power in 1933 in Germany. Because he's using so much Nazi speech wording speech he's using a lot of of that comes from the handbook of goebbels himself and this man is a history teacher and he definitely knows what he's doing but i will call him a fascist and i'm allowed to 
and that says a lot about this man. But nevertheless, if you want to know some better news, I hope that's the next video here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.